All right, guys, here we're to talk about Season 1, Episode 6 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Pack. Is this why Xander is cancelled? This is definitely something people cite a lot. They are wrong. So Xander, while possessed by a hyena demon spirit, which honestly doesn't make a ton of sense, yeah. uh, but it did and, happen. Well, and like, not to go off on a whole uh -huh. thing, but like, I feel like I'm setting myself up for disappointment here, but I don't like that this is just a coincidence, it seems like. Like, the, the, like there's no Hellmouth here. They, they like imported magic hyenas, right? They, they did import magic hyenas, but the zookeeper did live in Sunnydale. This is the Sunnydale Zoo, uh, okay. which further expands that Sunnydale has whatever you need. I got you. A zoo. Not one uh, more than. But now it's fixed. But Xander, uh, you know, uh, people like people bring this one up a lot. They're like, like so for some reason, their, their evidence, their receipts on why Xander sucks is like, oh, and that time that he almost raped Buffy. And I'm like, he was possessed. He was possessed. Yes, but he didn't say he was sorry at the end. He acted like he didn't remember doing it. And I'm like, yeah, because that's awkward as it's shit. It's so awkward. Yeah, it's a very Xander thing to yeah. do. I, I, I can't say as I would be like, Hey, that was wild. Like, yeah, like if, uh, you know, because he says, like, hey, did I do anything uh, embarrassing while I was whatever? Yeah. And they go, nah. And he's like, oh, God, good, so we don't have to confront this awkward situation. Pretty much. If she had said, like, you tried to commit felony sexual assault, he'd be like, oh, God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. He obviously would have yeah, called he would. Yeah, then he would, of course. But it, it's He wouldn't have been like, ah, uh, hyena. Like, he wouldn't have been like that. Yeah, and, and it's obvious. I, I, like, nobody in the episode harbors any ill will after the moment it's like, oh, he's possessed. So but I don't for, see why yeah. any fans that and I do think it's a drawback on like I already don't like him let me think of any reasons yeah. I could possibly bend the narrative right, to my right, story right. that's what I figured you'd say is like yeah. this is not the reason he's canceled but this is like piling on yeah. of like he did a bad thing or whatever no the second he regains his senses he's like Willow no and like tackles yes, the guy he does saves like the, Willow's yes, life it's perfect he, yes. I was he like, runs at a guy with a knife uh, what weird cultist dude. Uh, anyway, let's start with the episode where it starts. So they are at the zoo. They're on a field yeah. trip. How fun is that? Uh, we, we are introduced to a, a gang of bullies. They're the most, like, yacht club style bullies you've ever seen. The bullies that we see um, on the thing, yes. There, there's one girl in there who, who was Cleopatra from Cleopatra 2525. In the year 2525. Uh, as a this age person, uh, I thought she was brutally attractive. <laughs> sure. Um, she has not gone on to do many things. Which uh, one is she? She's the blonde one with the little, like the, like oh, the shorter does hair. she even talk? She, she s sticks her tongue out at one point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she may say like one thing. Breakout role for her, yeah. yes. I thought th those guys were casted well. I, I really think uh, the moment they shine, which is so dumb, is the laugh they do, like okay. the hyena laugh they, they have. <laughs> Yeah. And sometimes it's like an in, like a dropped in just hyena laugh, and they're just moving their mouths or whatever. They also shriek like chimps that are like monkeys at the zoo because they're not demons. hyenas. <laughs> yeah, there's a little translation going on. I have the laughing as like as like a cringy thing. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I, I like it. I was gonna say like I didn't even dislike it necessarily, but I just think that the idea of like ah oh, they're possessed with what? They spin the wheel, hyenas. Okay, what is what we're we gonna do? We're we gonna have them laugh. It's like yeah, no, that, that's good. Write that down for now. We'll think of something good later. And it's like I yes. just I was I spent far too long, maybe longer than Joss did when writing this episode, Ooh. thinking about the hyena thing. Where yes. I was like I was like all right, so let's let's take what the zookeeper is his exposition about hyenas. Okay, they have the ability to use voices. Okay, that comes in play later. They do they, they, do, they use Xander's voice to try to trick Willow. Willow. Xander, shut up. I wonder, uh, how does that work where like, I'm like, is the hyena a demon? Because if it sends out its essence into uh, five beings, it's still there though. Uh -huh. So like, can it just infinitely do that? Like, it's a very strange thing. Like, is it actually demonic? Yeah. Or, or is only through the use of this spell and this symbol that it pulls the essence of the, of the, uh, of the, of, you know, of like, the spirit animal out? Like, is it a normal hyena? Yeah. But the magic caused its essence to do that. I think it might be a normal hyena. That's all bullshit backstory from the zookeeper saying it's a special thing. These are extra blah, blah. And maybe they are bigger or rarer. Ah. Uh, I do wonder, um, and maybe just for the ease, like that's the only fake animal in the episode is the, is the hyena. <laughs> Okay. 
now we've seen it. Everything else is is like actual filmed, you know, probably stock footage of animals. Like went to the zoo. Yeah. And had zoo footage. And it's yeah. not like you see the hyena attack the guy or really no. see it do anything other than stand there. And, and they just add a little, uh, you know, yellow effect to the eyes. <laughs> They could have done that to a real hyena. Maybe hyenas are hard to find or they're unpredictable. Maybe it wouldn't look at us. I don't know. It just, it just seems strange. Really. Hyena, that probably costs more money than, than just getting an animal. Yes, the hyena, like part of me watching this, because you were like, oh, every episode's great. No one says episodes are bad. And I was like, this may be one of the ones where someone's like, what about the hyena episode? And I'm like, just don't. Just get rid of that one. I don't, care I don't even dislike this episode, honestly. No? Okay. no. I mean, uh, that, isn't the hyena angle goofy, though? It like, is goofy, but a lot hyenas? of things, if you think about them too much, are goofy. I mean, just thinking about it at all, just thinking sure. about it even slightly, I'm like, what are we doing? Well, it's, yeah. a, it's an interesting animal to choose, like, like, because pre yeah. presumably you could do it with any animal. Uh, I would and think. And like, hyena, that's, that's, that's my boy. Because you could have them laughing as, like, your thing. Yeah. If you picked a rhinoceros, well, how would maybe they, there are things we how don't would they know communicate? That they're, they're, they're special in this? Because it does yeah. make them super strong. Like, Buffy and Xander are, are rivals yes. that are pretty equal while he's, He gives uh, her a know, run for his impression. money. Get off of me. Is that what you really want? <laughs> we both know what you really want. And Giles even says, they're nearly as strong as you. And then she's and like, there's five of them. <laughs> and together, and she's like, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, they have a little dialogue. Yeah. And I was like, oh, damn. And, and I like that that so little bit of exposition is dropped because yeah. other than that, you'd be like, I don't understand why, how, how, is, no, how no. is he pinning her down? And it's like, like yeah. is it just, I don't want to hurt my friend? That could be a thing. Yes. But she does hit him with a desk. Oh my God, Xander, what happened? I hit him. With what? A desk. Uh, I like that. It's how off do, screen. How do you feel? Like I get hit with a desk. How are you feeling? <laughs> like somebody hit me with a desk. Yeah. Oh yeah. He weirdly slips in and out of like like kind of being It doesn't make sense. No, and the rest of them sense. don't ever slip out of it. He, okay, they're like, also bad people to begin with. Yeah, exactly. So like they're bad people to begin with mm -hmm. and he's not. They are still bad but now emboldened with the spirit of the hyena. Yeah. So if it makes you bad, that doesn't even make sense because I don't understand, right? And, no. and, and he's able to like still be him but he's influenced by the hyena yeah. and all that stuff. So like, I, it's I like, like a weird this. thing to desire. Yes. Like, yes, it makes you more powerful, but if it changes you fundamentally, I don't know why the zookeeper's like, ah, I'll be the strongest zookeeper alive. Like, he wants the power. Yeah. He doesn't even know what it is. He sucks at it. He couldn't get it to work. He couldn't. It's great. When he shows up with that face paint on. Oh, of course. The uh, Maasai ceremonial garb is. Yeah. And Giles has to be like, oh, um, oh, good, you're ready for the thing. And he's like, yep. And he's like, ah. Oh. And he's looking around. And he just has to fumble around. Oh, good, you've got the circle here. That would have been, oh dear. And he, uh -huh. and he starts to realize, like, that's such a funny. What does he say? Like, it must have been so infuriating for you that well, a couple he, of kids were yeah. able to do this and you could not. He has that flash moment of like, oh, I see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So let me just start insulting the guy. That'll work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the guy like that. Do keep it though, like, ha, 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 like, like you know, like yes. Master Splinters his ass. Like yes, he gets it exactly. I like that. <laughs> So we have a lot of firsts in this episode. So, yeah. uh, so we're the first time that that Willow's feelings are spoken aloud. He got it bad, girl. He makes my head go tingly. And uh, and honestly, the first time that uh, Xander ever speaks his feelings aloud to Buffy, he's tried a couple times, but even though he's under the influence, those are his true feelings. That's he, true. He was talking to Buffy about the things he would want to do. He tried to hand it felony sexual assault. Uh, granted, it was in a rapey fashion, uh, but still. Uh, that's something, uh, you know, having Willow's feelings said out loud, we've, we've only been able to pick up on that through screen cues. There's not been yeah. ever any real mention of her feelings. Uh, I just, I just knew. I don't know. Oh how. yeah, it, it was, it was laid on very thick, yes. but it's nice to see it said. We lost another faculty member. The, the principal wow. was dead and eaten by our hyena friends. I was going to say, I didn't really remember this principal. <laughs> now I'm like, oh. Oh, he's gone. Oh, good. Uh, that was a big like moment for me. It was like, oh damn, the effing principal effing died. What's going on here? <laughs> the best, um, most memorable thing about the principal in this episode to me is is like when he's dying, it like it does like a pan over to a picture of him, yeah. and I'm like, there's a picture of him on his desk facing out. The only time anyone would ever see that is they're in his office sitting in the chairs across from him. Uh -huh. So that it's like a power play, like he's doubling up on you. And he's smiling. So yeah. that, while he's yelling at you, you can glance over and be like, okay, he's not that bad of a guy. Like usually people's off like, would be like, oh, that's a picture of my family, my kids, so you yeah. know I'm a person and blah, blah, blah. It's just him. Which is kind of nice to know that he's alone because uh, he's dead now. Yeah. 
he's dead now. The scene of, of them killing him is hilarious when he grabs, like the guy grabs the phone and then he like doesn't know what to do. It's kind of weird, kind of sort of hyena. And mm-hmm. he goes, thank you. And this starts to do the thing. When, when the other chick who I was hoping was, was Cleopatra, because I, I like this chick. Uh, um, the brunette. With the, the short hair brunette one, who like tears the phone away and then goes, I'm sorry. In this really weird, like deadpan, yeah. I can't even do it right. But it was very like, like, oh God. Thank you. I'm sorry. Like that's a psychopathic way I think Cleopatra way may have had it. one line. She may have said undercooked to a hot dog or overcooked rather. Good. It's too well done. Crunchy? Oh, she also said crunchy. Did she say crunchy? To the pig. I ah. think she said it's crunchy, yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> it's like, how is he? Where is he? What is he? Crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> Snickering and stuff. Yeah. The only uh, misstep in, in the whole pig thing where I'm like, oh, I think that's nice. Maybe introduce him in an episode earlier. It could have been a little better. Right. But there's no blood whatsoever. They, they, they ripped apart a cage. There are yeah. bones on the ground. Did they lap it up? Like, what is that supposed to like, yeah. lead me to believe? And maybe I that's to get by censors that. because it's a TV show and yes. certain things, this and that. But, but there are some graphic things later on. Uh, and maybe that's when they switched to UPN. Because uh, they were a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I blanked on the actual pig stuff here, but yes, I, I thinking now I'm like yes, because mm-hmm. he says you're a bunch of monsters, and then you but you don't see the aftermath of yeah. like I expect it just like red everywhere, right? You'd think, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there's another moment worth uh, mentioning, almost as good as the principal's photo, is is the bullies at the zoo when they're first picking on that nerdy kid who they ultimately yeah. destroy on their own team in dodgeball. He. Uh, He's doing his little note thing, and he does a picture sound when he, like he's looking at him. But he like doesn't know how to make a picture sound. Like if you're gonna take a picture of me, what noise do you make? Yeah, that that would do. He goes like. Doesn't anybody have a camera? Whoopa! <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a whip sound. I'm like, what are you doing there, bro? Okay. Like I, I just wonder what did it say in the script? Like make camera sound. He's like, all right. Uh, Fuck. Mm, what is a camera? Uh, I can't mm. tell him. I don't know what a camera is. Well, the first take is. he I'll went. Be- Camera sound. Camera sound. <laughs> right? Good? No? Oh, it's, 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 it's very funny. You mentioned dodgeball. We have yes. that dodgeball game where, yes, at the end, in the culminating incident, they all pick on that nerd again, even though he's on their team. I'm not yeah. sure what that... I think the technical rules are there out, but they don't care. I don't know <laughs> if there's any rules on hitting your own teammates. Yeah. It, it was strange for me, the dodgeball game, because... Uh, it, once they explain that they're like almost as powerful as Buffy, it's a little bit better. But through the little bits they displayed of Buffy uh, playing dodgeball, it didn't look very impressive. Like and she I, was good at dodgeball. I, yeah, I yeah. think it should have gone one of two directions. Either you show her just like, I don't give a shit because this is part of keeping up my identity and I don't give a shit, honestly, because it's a gym class. Yes. And you just have her like barely playing and then like her and Willow just sitting on the side because... That's probably what she would do. Yeah. Or you have her like a boss, like ping, 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 like catching and fucking ding, just ding, 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 like yeah. knocking people out. I kind of like that it ends with them like, we respect you. <laughs> like they're kind of like, like, we, like, you know, you are an equal. Why would we get into this fight type of thing? Uh, which I may be reading a little bit into it, I but that's say, what but I read into it. I like reading, you know, reading into things instead of just yeah. describing them. Uh, when the gym teacher then goes like, I love this goddamn game. Whatever he says. He says, like, it's brutal. This game I brutal. love it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic. The smell of napalm in the morning. God, this game is brutal. I love it. That, that's yeah, that's exactly. a great line. Yeah. <laughs> There's the, the, one of the best lines. you always were wondering, like, oh, are the gym teachers just, like, sadistically oh, yeah. over there? Like, yeah, oh, fuck yeah. them up. Yeah. Most gym teachers, I think, are either, A, yes, sadistic, or just, like, kids that never grew up. They're like, I can wear shorts all year long? This is fuck dope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I love a line, before I forget it, at the zoo, is when they, when Buffy uh, first comes into Xander and Willow, you're yeah. like, oh, we just saw the zebras mating. It was like the Heimlich with stripes. We just saw the zebras mating. Thank you, very exciting. It was like the Heimlich with stripes. That's a good line. That was a wonderful, that was Willow, I think, right? That was, that was Willow. Great. Willow drops a lot of she, subtle, like, like zinger lines. She has a great delivery and all that stuff. Yes. Even later, uh, she says, like, you know, and this is not even a joke, but she's like, he makes my head tingly. Her, like, yeah. weird, like, uh, punctuating stuff. I'm and like, that, that's oh, her. Good. She's yes. good in everything, honestly. I know, yeah. exactly. I that, like her. Like, Positive contribution. She certainly takes the writing yeah. and, and, and does the most with it, but I will say that she brings at least yeah, half yeah, of that yeah. to the party on her so own. So it could just be a compatibility thing, but I feel like she fits well with this style oh, of definitely, writing. Definitely. I don't know if she was chosen for it or if she grew into it or something. Mm-hmm. There's a whole thing here. She gets, uh, you know, sort of treated badly by Xander. Oh, yeah. And it starts in that dodgeball game, or, or one of the events is in that dodgeball and game. And that could be when first seen as like, oh, he's hitting on me. This is how kindergartners yeah. say I like you. But they don't uh, but play he, it that he, way. Yeah, he knocks yeah. her the fuck out 
out of the game. She looks at him like, whoa. Yeah. And, he, and he's like, and just kind of like moves on like he doesn't give a fuck. And you're like, oh yeah. no, this is not the Xander that I know and love. There's some great like actual acting, I, I feel like, yeah. by Nicholas Brendan in this episode. Yes. Because he's just such a lighthearted character through everything we've seen so far. Yeah. And you like believe him as a dick. Yes. Uh, which I'm like, doesn't always come across from a bubbly character. You're like, no, oh, he can like, act. He took the, and maybe this is just because, you know, that is him and he doesn't know what else to do, but he took the initial state and he moved it over one, you know, hyena possessions worth yeah. of, like, uh, evilness or something, mm -hmm. right? Because he still is sort of joking and setting up weird phrases when he's like, so I never have to look at your pasty face again, but he, like, set it up. I guess you've noticed that I've been different around you lately. Yes. I think, um, I think it's because my feelings for you have been changing. Because yeah. he's used to doing jokes and setting it up, right? I've decided to drop geometry, so I won't be needing your math help anymore, which means I won't have to look at your pasty face again. The other ones are just like, ugh, and they don't know what to do with anything. That's right? something, too, that yeah. I'm like, when something possesses you, it does seem like it is taking the essence of what Xander is, and, uh, and I yeah. wonder if that's just because, you know, the same guy writes the whole thing, so, like, it's like, oh, is mm. this just his voice of what evil is also? Right. Or is it taking, like, these, like, inner monologue thoughts of the Xander character, like, he does think she's pasty, or blah, 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 blah. This is bringing up, the, like, the bad things to the surface. Yeah. And, and you could take it in any way, and it's still kind of bad. No, <laughs> like, or, or, like, uh, And bad just, as in, uh, like, evil. Like, yeah, like, like, he knew th that that would hurt her. Yeah, exactly. And now he's he, an evil he's person. He's cutting words. Right, because cause he's, like, because he, cause he says, like, uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm not sure how to tell you this. But yeah, yeah. I, but I'm quitting geometry. And she goes, oh, fuck. Right, and it's this awesome well, like, like it's this so build up where it's like okay you know her feelings yes. oh is he gonna say his feelings yes. for me is that what his thing is because you know when someone ever gives you a thing like that you immediately go to either the very worst possible scenario yeah. or what you've always wanted and you right. saw her get built up buttercup just to let her down and bam she goes he messed her around yeah <laughs> And, and that was Worst allowed all. because of the, the earlier statements we know yeah, as an yeah. audience. It, it, it lets it happen. Like, I love little foreshadowy bits where you're like, yeah. oh, this could go anyway. Like the fucking pig, which we only see this one episode. It squeals and freaks out when Xander walks by. Yes. And, like, that's a little detail that I like. Yeah, and he's even walking differently, like when he first gets to the to the club they all go to. He's a little bit like um, Spider-Man with venom in him, you know? Yeah, he kind of like stares down at Chick, and she's like, oh, and stuff. He's got a whole different swag He's got more to charisma. Him. Yeah, but evil swag, yes. Yeah, but that's like what, venom. That, that, that tall, dark, and handsome type of thing where it's yeah. like, oh, I'm evil now. I can do some shit. I love like the slow-mo walk that you get from like the evil posse of yes. fucking hyenas. That was good stuff. I like that. Yeah, Xander kind of even like becomes the alpha in a way where they rescue him and yeah, they're all walking in formation yeah. and like stepping over people's food on the on the on the table. Oh, outside. I'm very like, glad you mentioned that. Like so I, I I love the walking across like like taking yeah. the hot donuts and did you recognize the guy that's like Xander, you know blah blah's guitar or whatever? Xander. You've heard Wretched Refuse play. What do you think of the guy who plays lead? Not cool, man. No. That's the, that's the who? <laughs> that's the guy that I love from the, what? the other episode when they're at the computers and, and Cordelia's like, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> I told you he comes back. What? Who? That is not cool. <laughs> not cool, man. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> uh, so he's Xander's friend, and like th th they're arguing about how good this guitar player yeah, is. Yeah, like, yeah, It's a very perfect conversation. And I feel okay. like in a lot of episodes, I'll, I'll spoil this for later, like they mention a lot of musical things like like pertaining mm. to Xander's taste, but I don't feel like it ever pays off where you ever that actually matters. see any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, and I guess I guess it's set up real early on with him, like the fantasy of being the guitar player. I was gonna say, yeah, stuff. I feel like they're setting up that he's gonna eventually be in a band, but it's not gonna be what he wants. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. but yeah, but he's right. mean. He's he's stealing his friend's food and yes. shit. He, so, literally, he steals Buffy and, dude, and Willow. But like the line when, when they're when they're taking the food, and he's like, "You're sharing. Friends like sharing." Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. Like, oh god, like these weird psychopaths. Yeah, like a things. children of the cornish, like yeah. like which he was in. You're sharing. Friends like to share. Uh, <laughs> like an ancient evil hyena trying to use the, uh, the 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 vocabulary of its host to you know to just get what it wants. Yes. Like ooh, hungry, eating, and uh -huh. then she's like, what? And he's like. <laughs> Ah, he smelled good. Okay. And I love, I like love that because it's something that Xander probably would have noticed anyway. Like, like, oh, you smell good. You've bathed. That's that's something I do. I'm known for it's that. okay or something like that. Yeah. He says. Okay, now what? You took a bath. Yeah, I, I often do. I'm actually known for it. 
That's okay. But when he takes so it, like weird. this is this is what birds eat. Blah, I need meat and blah blah blah. What is this crap? Well, it was my buttery croissant. Man, I need some food. Birds live on this. Yes. Also, foreshadowing that they kill the pig. Yes, and he like turned that into a joke too. He said, yeah. like, this is what birds live off of. I need whatever this eats." And like throws it or something. She's like, "That was my what?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my buttery croissant or something. Like flaky buttery croissant. But yeah, you yeah. spins his evilly jokes still yeah. in this persona. While across the way, you have the evil crowd making fat jokes, which are not politically yeah. correct anymore. You're not allowed to Dude, do that. <laughs> when, when he like laughs and then looks over and like his lady did not have it, he's like, yeah. "Kids fat." <laughs> Gets fat. Like, yeah. kind of like I'm like this is so perfect. It, what was it? It was like a Goodyear blimp joke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so so timely. Shouldn't you be hovering over the stadium with yeah. a Goodyear printed on your ass? And he's like, um, what? Like, kind of. Yeah, it's great. I that guess. would have been me. That was perfect. Okay. I love I love that like the ending like bit on this yeah. one is you have you have Giles who is like like I'll take it to my grave like like yes. oh like because they, they don't always seem to be like you know we're on the same page here but at that yes. moment it's like nah dude like bro code I got you you want like, a little cross but you, you, you know you know bonding there yeah. yeah I thought that that was an interesting detail but I figured you would eviscerate it because no. there are four other people who were also possessed who aren't even friends with them who are no doubt walking around not saying that they have no memory of it either. Well, so like, how is I he going to keep I this would disagree. Up? I would disagree yeah. that I think they they are they are very tight lipped because they just murdered someone and got away with it. So no, I think no, no, they're no. not saying like, shit. I'm sure that they shouldn't say anything, mm -hmm. and, I, and I hope we never see them again because they did murder someone. So you would think that like this is a known thing. Oh, you know, he's like, oh, wild, wild dogs got into his office, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck are you talking about? Official theory is that. Wild dogs got into his office somehow. But honestly, like, um, what is the reasonable yes. thing? How, uh, and they're not. There's no blood on them. There's nothing. I just nothing. know the way kids are with secrets and saying things, yeah. and I feel like they would know eventually. Maybe after too long of time had passed, so like it wouldn't be a big deal for their friendships anymore. Mm -hmm. But it seems like a very bad unless he like t talked to them and said like, "Let's pretend we have no memory of this." Right? Man, no one's talking to those fucks. I'm sure one of those girls is like, oh my god, I can still taste the raw pig in my mouth. This is horrible. And like freaks out or something. That's just, that's just me. It would be a nice detail, like uh, like late season three for I, something like that. To yeah, happen. I think that it's like signaling to us that like that does not matter though. Yeah. Because like it doesn't matter if he remembers or not or like what's going on. It's just, it's just a little character development for him mm -hmm. and, the, and that little bro moment with Giles. Your secret dies with me. No, and I do like yeah. that moment. That's the first, I think, the first moment you have with, with like, like a little, bonding. Like a little cross bonding between the group. You like slice it up in different ways and, and, and you get your characters to have a little relationship. And you have and an earlier thing where Buffy's like, like, no, nah, man, something's wrong with him. He's blah, blah. And I she describes it and, and you know, Giles is like, oh my God, he's turned into a 16-year-old boy. You'll have to kill him. It's devastating. He's turned into a 16-year-old boy. Of course, you'll have to kill him. No, oh, I'm afraid it's, it's a terminal, but it'll, I don't know, a chronic or something, but it'll, but it'll, but it'll you know, clear uh -huh. up on its own. Um, I love that section too. I was about to segue into that because mm -hmm. this is a great example, I think, of like everything's in the book, Giles. Look up everything, right? Yeah. Because he's like approaching it reasonably like, nope, hellmouth, vampires, certain witches, demons, certain things make sense. We can't be looking up everything, Buffy, though you're crazy. And she's like, no, 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 I think this, you know, there's a thing. Like Willow's on her giant computer looking up video of like hyenas and bullshit yeah. or something. And like, yeah, this is, I think, to also train the audience. Like, no, everything's in the book. No matter how fucking We've got crazy a lot of it is, yeah, it, it, you know, there could be like a 50 foot tall thing like attacking the city. It's in the book. What are you going to do? Get my books. Look stuff up. Don't, don't, don't act like things are not in the book. It's always in the book. Fucking stop. And I was like, good message received. He will always check the book. I will never say, how could that be in the book? Because the fucking hyenas were in the book. The praying mantis uh, Black Widow was, <laughs> was in the book. Well, that was in the book. Rolodex. That you know was his boy knew about yes. that. But I'm saying, like, Giles, you know, Giles being skeptical. I almost mm -hmm. said Scully, but, like, you know, Buffy says that. Yeah. Giles being Scully does not work. He needs well, to be the one who's, he's, like... And he's got his, like, you know, hand on the pulse. He, you yeah. know, he's a watcher. There's a line of watchers. You know, he, he, presumably, they have their, their, their feelers out for most things that yeah. exist, unless it's the rarest of rarest treats. But you can say, oh, my colleague in Manchester will, you know, will know all about this. I have to phone Oxford immediately and yeah, ask yeah. this guy about werewolves. Yeah, it's this... Uh, I'm, I'm on board. I like it. You remember, you fail math, you flunk out of school, you end up being the guy at the pizza place that sweeps the floor and says, hey kids, where's the cool parties this weekend?
weekend. It's like, I remember that guy at parties in high school. There'd be like <laughs> a freakishly older guy who works at the pizza place and he'd be like, I brought pizza, guys. Brought like, pizza. That, that's, I'm like, that's a real thing. I like that. <laughs> like, like a very specific yeah. reference. Yeah, and I think sure. that's a, a, like a reference that can hit any town in America. Like, every, every community has the 27-year-old yeah. guy at the pizza place who's like, cool party. Exactly. Like, cause you mean to buy the beer? Y- yes. We all have friends where you got, like, you know, they didn't apply on very well, they got trapped in a thing, and there uh, they are, and you're like, oh, no. And some of them, uh, you know, either deal drugs or sell pizza. I was going <laughs> to say, like, drug dealer is more the thing that I would think about. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, hey, I'm making deliveries for several reasons. They ate Principal Flutie? All right, guys, that was episode six of season one. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next week for episode seven. Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies.